Hello everyone and welcome to the Cisco Secure Email Series Updates. This video will cover specifically the default scanning of URLs in message attachments. URL phishing attacks are rapidly increasing and around 25 to 30 percent of these are sent via attachments. Furthermore, these phishing URLs may come from a known sender, a reputable domain, and look clean at the entry point. Case, since Async OS 11.1 and until now, had the capabilities to parse the URLs in the message body, but not in the attachments. As a matter of fact, URLs in attachments were passed to Case only when message filters or content filters were defined and more specifically, the option to include attachments have been selected. One could use the URL reputation and or the URL category content with message filters or content filters to scan for URLs in message attachments. 14.0 introduces the default scanning of URLs in message attachments. By default, Secure Email Solution scans URLs in message attachments for any malicious content early in the email pipeline and without the need to create any message filter or content filter for that matter. This way, right from the start, email admins can rest assured that the end users are better protected. But let's get into the configuration piece. Well, in reality, as I already explained, this is done by default from the system. So there's really not much you need to configure. Nevertheless, let me show you here in mail policies, incoming mail policies. I created just one policy called URLs and attachments where I activated the anti-spam. We'll see that policy in a bit and disable the content filters. There's no message filters, no content filters, but you'll see that still it's going to be classified. So here in the policy, I simply used the Ironport anti-spam service. If the message is positively identified as spam, then we'll send it to the spam quarantined and prepend spam. However, if it's suspected spam only, then we're going to deliver it, but still prepend suspected spam. We're also going to send an email where we're going to attach a file and that file is going to contain some URLs. The email has been sent. You can clearly see that it came from my demo account to the other demo account. At the same time, we have here the subject. Also, SDR is being confirmed. We have a neutral stance on this domain. And as you can see, it has classified that the attachment, your bank details exist. It matched the policy that I created before and the interim verdict using engine case spam positive. This has been classified even without us having a message filter, having a content filter specifically to catch if there's something fishy with this email. So by default, the secure email solution scanned all URLs within the message and deemed that they were malicious without the need to create content filters, message filters, so done by default. Like I said in the beginning, right from the start, email admins know that their end users are better protected. I do hope you find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching.